Snails are known for their slow speed and usually don't draw a whole lot of attention. Yet these shelled mollusks have evolved to fill a wide variety of major ecosystem roles, leading to some bizarre or dangerous adaptations that put both animals and humans at risk. From the one with pulsating eye stalks to the one with poisonous eggs, stay with us as we are looking at 10 of the freakiest snails in the world. This is a worm snail. The bizarre snail completely defies the popular perception of what a snail should look like. Starting out as juveniles that resemble typical snails, worm snails cement themselves to rocks and become completely stationary while they grow a long tube-like shell with coils. In order to eat, these snails would produce mucus strands to trap tiny organisms carried by the current. After that, they would haul in these mucus nets. This is done by eating these mucus strands along with any tasty bits that are stuck on them. But again, these nets are not just for eating. As a matter of fact, female worm snails would use these nets to capture and ingest packages of sperm released by the males for internal fertilization. This is Henia brasiliana. Native to New Zealand and southeastern Australia, it is one of only a few sea snail species that are able to emit light. When disturbed or knocked around, the cluster wink starts flashing with a blue-green light. It's kind of like a burglar alarm. No one is exactly sure what the flashing accomplishes, though. Is it trying to scare away predators? Or maybe it's calling to the predators of the predator that's messing with it. Or it could be communicating to its fellows with some sort of snail morse code. Science doesn't really know, but what they do know is that its shell diffuses light better than any man-made material ever. The cluster wink has a light-emitting organ, and the shell's scattering effect is so good that every part of the shell lights up. The crystalline structure converts a pinprick of light into a beacon. In fact, science is now looking for a way to duplicate this effect so that we can have ultra-efficient lampshades. Hailing from Southeast Asia, the Anentome Helena may surprise you with its crazy diet. In fact, it garners its common name as assassin snail from the habit of eating other snails. Upon sensing the presence of another snail, the assassin snail would approach it and use the sticky foot to grab onto the victim's shell. Then it would find the shell opening and extend its long retractile proboscis into the aperture of the shell. Assassin snails do not poison their prey, nor do they inject paralytic venom. They simply eat their victims alive, scraping away small bits of flesh using the denticles in the tip of the proboscis. But again, because of this diet, assassin snails are able to keep unwanted freshwater snail population down, making them a desired species in the aquarium trade. Indigenous to the reefs of the Indo-Pacific, the geographic cone snails' intricately patterned brown and white shells are among the most sought after by collectors. But again, it is also the most venomous snail on the planet. The venom from one cone snail is enough to theoretically end 700 people's lives. It is a complex concoction of hundreds of different toxins delivered through a harpoon-like tooth propelled from an extendable proboscis. The venom has to be strong enough to paralyze instantly. Otherwise, the fish it preys on would swim away to die, and the slow-moving gastropod would have nothing for its efforts. In fact, there is no anti-venin for a cone snail sting, and treatment is limited to merely keeping victims alive until the toxins wear off. This is a Paolofanta snail. Found only in New Zealand, it is a carnivorous land snail that can grow up to 9 cm long, about the size of a fist. And earthworms are a staple of this snail's diets, though it doesn't seem like it should be much of a matchup. Worms are really slippery and wiggly, and snails are pretty slow. So how do the snails capture their prey? Despite what you might expect, the snails have lightning-fast reflexes and slurps the worms up like a spaghetti noodle in the blink of an eye. The snails use a radula to break down their prey. This is a ribbon-like feature made out of chitin with serrated edges that sort of look like very tiny teeth. This rough edge slowly scrapes the worm apart as the bits of flesh get swallowed. If you have ever wanted to feel terrible for a worm, now is probably the time.
Found in warm tropical and temperate waters worldwide, the beautiful purple shell of the violet sea snail is only part of what makes this gastropod so interesting. Otherwise known as the bubble raft snail, this critter has the ability to trap bubbles of air with its foot and wrap them with mucus. Then it would use this bubbly concoction as a raft for long distance ocean travel, allowing it to stay afloat for the whole life along the ocean surface at the mercy of the winds, but at the same time, enabling it to feed on by the wind sailors and other colonial hydroids that drift through the oceans. Most snails have one slimy foot that they slither along on. However, Antarctic sea butterfly has adapted far better to an aquatic lifestyle by turning that pad into a pair of little wings. It flies through the seas, free as a bird without a care in the world, except perhaps that these plankton-sized snails are every sea critter's favorite snack. In fact, they make up 90% of the diet of the Pacific salmon. It is the popcorn of the sea, but everything is balanced because of their ability to reproduce very quickly. As amazing as it sounds, global warming is a big issue. Rising levels of carbon dioxide are causing the acidity of the oceans to rise, making their little shells fragment lose shape and eventually dissolve. And since they feed so many of the creatures that we happen to eat, a mass sea butterfly die-off would be some horrible news. Clams are generally impervious to attack by all but a large animal capable of crushing their shells. So it might come as a surprise that the beautiful moon snails are often a clam's worst nightmare. It all begins when the moon snail smells its prey and uses its huge slimy foot to engulf its victim. Once the moon snail gets the unsuspecting clam in its grip, the radula goes to work. The sharp-toothed radula is used as a drill to bore holes into the hard shells of clams. This is an extremely slow process. In order to speed things up a bit, the moon snail produces hydrochloric acid and other enzymes to help dissolve the shell and liquefy the clam's insides. Once a perfectly rounded hole is made in the shell, the moon snail inserts its tubular straw-like mouth and slurps up the clam smoothie inside. The apple snail is considered to be one of the 100 world's worst invaders because of their tendency to eat aquatic plants. But their eggs are something that people don't usually talk about. They are coated in two special poisons. One is anti-nutritive and the other is anti-digestive. If you eat their eggs, you won't be able to absorb any nutritional value from the meal and it'll continue to mess up all your other meals until the stuff is out of your system. In other words, it destroys your ability to eat. Because of this, almost no predators will eat their bright pink eggs, which gives these snails a leg up on the competition, unless if there are fire ants around. They are the only creature we know of that will gobble up these eggs without flinching. The other amazing thing about this poison is that no other animal besides the apple snail makes it. It's a common poison that plants and bacteria produce, but animals don't create this stuff. Somehow this snail was able to steal a page out of the plant playbook This is an amber snail. What you see now may look like your regular garden snail, but when it is infected by the aparasitic worm called green banded brood sac, it transforms into a real life zombie. This happens when the snail eats the eggs of the green banded brood sac, usually from bird droppings, and they would continue to hatch and become larvae inside the snail. But from here, the flatworm juveniles would make their way to the eye stalks of the snail. At this point, the snail is completely blind and loses its natural fear of sunlight. When sunlight hits the colorful brood sacs in the eye stalks, they begin to twitch and pulsate to attract birds' attention. Then, if a bird eats these eye stalks thinking they are caterpillars, these worms would make their way to the bird intestine to transform into adults, laying eggs that eventually make their way into the bird droppings.